Hello, it's Sarah. And I've been playing with some journaling and I just wanted to share what I've been up to. Um, those of you who watch my videos know that I created this little journal out of um, some jelly print paper. This whole thing is created from cardstock and jelly print paper. And I finished the last page. I had one page that I hadn't done. Um, so it, it's all, everything on here I just made out of jelly print paper and then I colored it with my Posca paint pens. So this whole book, I cut the balloons out of um, jelly prints and then just mixed media in the background, made some, um, add, added a little extra stuff to it. Um, a house is built with walls and beams, a home is built with love and dreams. I haven't done a lot of journaling, so I was just playing around and I had my Posca paint pens were new. Um, I saw this technique was something that Cat Hand had done and I wanna talk more about her in a minute. Um, so all I did was just punch out different size circles with my circle punches and then just drew or doodled rather with my Posca paint pens and doodled the leaves on here so I did them um, with the black and white Posca paint pens. I didn't really do any shading on that page. Um, and then this is the fun, I just finished this page today, but this is, um, I also took a class with, um, Kate Crane, and it's um, on Rozuku, I think, or Vimeo. It's on Vimeo, but anyway, um, you can look back through my videos if you want to see more about that. It was called uh, Journal Soup, and I took a couple of her classes, but these little um, owls, I just had them in my scraps. So I didn't make, actually I did, I made him because I wanted five. I wanted to have five little owls on this page um, and then I just shaded that all I did was glue them down and shade around some stuff and, and it was done so it was really cute but I wanted to make him kind of looking off to the side all of them are this kind of the same looking forward with their uh, wings down but he's got his he's a little different with his eyes looking to the side so super cute um, Joe is that you no. oh hi Matt I'm making a video um, so yeah, so I'm glad. I'm f I just, I just like I was gonna say, I went through my scraps. This is, these are other little houses that I had made, um, based on a class, like I said, that I took with Kate Crane, and I just went through here because I wanted to finish this off, and I knew I had those owls. So it's th that's a little thick, I think. It they're because this is I made these out of um, that's not paper. Those are made out of, um, I had done a whole bunch of tags. So those owls happen to be made out of tags, so they're a little bit more um, thick, you know. So they, they it, it's okay, it still closes. I'm pretty happy with this little journal. And this just sits right up on my desk. I have it there all the time, so I finished it. So this is the other thing I was going to show you, and it's drying. But I'll put the link in the description box, but Cat Hand also has started for the new year a little um, mini morsels journal. This is a little um, composition book that I made using some jelly printed uh, stickers. So this is basically a sticker sheet and you jelly print on the sticker sheet and then you doodle on it. You just doodle, you stamp and doodle and do a bunch of stuff. And then when I put this together, because I did this too, um, very, it's the same thing. So this is all just stickers and then you just kind of, I just peeled them from random places on the sheet so that nothing really matches up and I just covered a little, my little journal with it. But this one is going to be used for um, mixed media morsels, it's called. That's what, I'll, I'll link you to her video where she talks about it and does this, uh, the very first technique. This is, um, and I haven't, I don't think it's dry enough yet because you're supposed to, actually it might be dry. I'm going to peel it off and see if I got anything. Now it might not have worked. I might do it again because I used, um, oh shoot, I didn't realize that was going to stick so much. I used, um, 
a gold metallic paint. So I'm not sure if I should have done that. But the idea is to get that crinkle effect. So all I did was glue a bunch of pages together. And I just used a glue stick. I'll show you how I did it. So this is just one of those little composition books. And like I said, I just painted, or actually I didn't even paint the edges black. I just used a big Sharpie marker on the edges. And then put those stickers on. And then I just take my, um, I have a, a Yoohoo stick. This is a really strong glue stick. And I took this little, um, see I don't even like it. It like, it kind of, I it's dry and I like the technique, but the colors don't look great because I don't know, they got weird. It looks kind of plasticky. That's kind of cool. I, I might do it again. I might just do it again because why not? We're She's going to give us, and she said there's no really set time or um, schedule for it. It's just going to be random videos that she's going to do from time to time. And just put a little mixed media technique in this little book. So all I did, and I, I don't know why I'm showing you this. One time I got a question about gluing my pages together. So I just find, see I've done a lot of them. Okay, so the next set is right here. It's two regular pages. I just put this little piece of deli paper in between. Take my Yoohoo stick and just go on the bottom page. Kind of so that it goes off the edge a little bit. That way um, it'll hold the edge. And then I just close the book on it. So that's it. And then it doesn't it didn't doesn't stick anything else together besides those two pages so it's pretty pretty easy but I mean I'm not loving that it's definitely a tech it's definitely um, it's a little bit wet still so maybe I'll dry it more you can see how that the paper is buckling a little bit but that's the whole idea we're just gonna have uh, that's why we put two pages together so that it, it'll be a little bit stronger when we're doing these wet techniques so that's that. I'll set that aside. It probably needs to dry a little bit more. But I, I used pink, blue, and gold, like a metallic gold. So maybe I shouldn't have thrown in the metallic gold. Um, it's really cold here in New Jersey. It's about 4.30 now, but it was a beautiful day, but it's like 20 degrees. And I'm not complaining because I know a lot of people are having way worse weather than us. I live in... South Jersey and we actually have had such a great winter so far so I can't complain um, but I signed up and I'll put the link in the description box for um, Joanne Sharp's Artfully Inspired Life 2016 and I think she's done it two other years she's done it for 14 and 15 and so I jumped on board and I am doing it for 2016 this is the little um, notebook that I use to go along with her book. Her book is over there. Um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Artful Lettering. I think it's just called Artful Lettering. Anyway, what we're doing, and she said it was okay to share this, just not to say any of the techniques or anything. Um, so I figured I'd share it and put a link in the description box because it's been pretty good so far. Like, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, we, we got this, and this is a hardback Strathmore mixed media journal, um, and that way she collects them. So she has three of these now, and she writes on the binding um, the year and the name of the class. And mine's getting a little wonky, which I'm not thrilled about, but it is a sewn um, binding. So that's why she likes it, because we are going to be playing with water and different media um, throughout the year. So, so far we have, this is for, for January so far I've watched four videos and I'm all done my homework, happy to say, um, because she's going to be doing two more videos this month to get the rest of the book set up for the year so that we have, um, I don't know, kind of where we're going for the year. Um, the first page, I think, is going to be a table of contents, so we didn't do that yet. Now this, I wish I did this, but this is artwork that she gives us to download and put in our book so that we all have the same artwork. And then I just wrote Artfully Inspired Life 2016. That's the name of the class. So I wrote that, and then, the, then this page, maybe this is going to be the table of contents. I forget. 
but I have a feeling it's all going to get filled up. So then this page holds are kind of like our inspiration sticks. So she took us through making these. We made 12 and we're going to have kind of inspirational words on there. It says my soul and spirit 2016 making magical mantras. So just every month we're going to do a mantra and we did it together this time. But I have so far I have play, inspire, happy, serenity and forgive. But I'm going to think of some more words that kind of will inspire a mantra for me this year. And it's, it doesn't have to be serious or not, you know, or anything. It could just be fun. So it's not about, um, uh, what are they called? Resolutions or anything. It's just, just have fun and do it if you want to do it. So it could be any words. And then we made this little pocket out of just like um, watercolor paper. And this is, all, so far we've used um, Tombow markers, which I have and I'm so happy because I had them. So we just taped that in there. And then this is our uh, lettering for this month. And she calls it Juicy January and it was called Juice It Up. And it's kind of like her thicket technique, but then we just added little designs to the letters, like little, um, just black and white letter. And I can erase this now. There's, um, you do it all in pencil first, and then when you're finished, you can erase all your pencil marks. And um, so I'm, pr I'm very happy, like I'm very happy. Her direction has been really good so far. Um, so then this is one of my um, inspiration sticks or mantra sticks. So this is the mantra, shine your light. And I kind of, you know, your is under there, but I just used a uh, washi tape to kind of put this in there. And then we did these stars and wrote shine your light in this kind of script um, and with some stars and stuff. And that's our mantra page. So for January's mantra is shine your light. So I did that page. And then this one, I'm so happy with this page. I just loved how this is actually a journaling page. So it's not going to be daily, but weekly-ish because we just spaced out the month over four um for journaling spots for the month. So this is January 1 through 7. So at the end of the week, I'm going to kind of review the week and write down a few things. Um, it's my docu life um, January journal. So that was page that now we're up to page seven. So and then I just added a little bit of washi tape to the edges. She does that. And I think it kind of looks cool when you close the book. It looks kind of neat. So it's getting that page. This one page got a little bit wonky but I think maybe if I add something to this side it'll straighten it out a little because this side has paint on both sides and it's definitely much straighter so I'm not sure um, but this is water um, mixed media paper I'm sorry mixed media paper and she said it it, it holds up really well because like I said she's done a couple of them already so um, I just wanted to, to talk about that with you guys I uh, feel very um, accomplished right now I feel like I've definitely uh, I'll have something cool to look back on this year um, and she's gonna have an art piece every month a mantra every month and an alphabet every month so um, probably in some journaling you know but um, so so far it seems very very good very organized and so I'm looking forward to seeing what else she has in store for us and like I said so the seventh on the seventh of this month she'll have two more videos about I think the table of contents which is probably right here I think the table of contents is going to go here so this is just a kind of a free page um, and then just setting up the book for, because she has the pages numbered and everything. So she knows how many, I think there's like 60 pages in here. There can't be 60. Yeah, there might be. I'm not sure. Um, so, all right, you guys, that's it. I just wanted to share that, my little mixed media share. And um, I am going to be doing clay again soon. But this may take precedence just until, like, by the end of the week, I'll... Oop, I'll be getting back to this, um, and then I'll be doing clay. Oop, everybody's sorry. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for watching.